already been at the Coliseum and still a lot more to come including Edwin Moses as he attempts to win his 105th consecutive race and his second Olympic gold medal Edwin Moses let's meet him up close and personal In 1983, Edwin Moses earned about $458,000. He'll make more this year. It wasn't always like that. Uh, when I gave up my career in engineering, there was no guarantees that I was going to be able to, to uh, subsist on what I was able to make under the table in Europe. And I took a chance, and luckily, I was able to keep my performance at a high enough level and stay in the sport long enough for things to change to the point where... Uh, now we can uh, make as much money as uh, some of the, I'd say, lower paid professional athletes in the United States. But then that's only a handful of people. The watchword is persistence and precision befitting his engineering background and attention to detail, every detail. His wife, Mirella, timing intervals. 46, 42. Edwin checking his heart rate. 39, 43, 46, 40. And the two of them recording the data on a home computer to trace the effectiveness of his training. What they can't chart are the pressures that megabuck contracts and 100-plus victory streaks impose on 28-year-old athletes. There's not much privacy. You're always in the limelight. People always want something from you. There's always reporters sticking microphones in your face and things. So you have to be really tight as two people to, to cope with all that. And that was, that was hard for a while, and, uh, but we're, we're, we're managing pretty well. We're just, sometimes we're brother and sister, sometimes we're business partners, and, and we're still husband and wife. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult. He's not very good at body surfing, but then he doesn't do that very often. <laughs> He's more used to whirlpool baths, to soak the lactic acid out of muscles already strained or trained to their limit. And tactical massage to improve his ability to endure ever more intensive workouts. Energy comes from diet, another detail about which Edwin Moses cares a great deal. He really preaches that all the time, you know, that you should eat right and get your energy out of the foods you eat and uh, when you eat them and how much you eat at what time and everything and that's a very very important factor i think in his life edwin moses success is a product of total commitment there are no unexamined variables he's intensely realistic about his world i know that uh, when i don't train i know that somewhere in the world there's someone training to beat me i consider myself very very lucky to to uh to have made it to be uh, able to rise as cream rises to the top. In his soft voice, his eyes fixed and unblinking, his energy focused, his passion so controlled, we see the force that sets Edwin Moses apart, the still white-hot fury of his desire. 